In this animation, we will examine how data can be transferred from one location to another within the program by using the MOV or Move instruction. We will begin by examining the basic operation of the MOV instruction. The instruction takes the value specified in the source field and moves that data to the location specified in the destination field. The source data will be transferred to the new location when continuity exists on the rung containing the MOV instruction. It is important to note that the data contained at the source location is unchanged by the move instruction. The source value can be entered directly in decimal or hex format. A file address, instruction field, or input rack location containing the data to be moved can also be specified. The destination specified can be a file address, an instruction field, or an output rack location. To get an idea of how the MOV instruction is implemented, we will examine a simple application used to change the preset value of a T on delay timer using this MOV instruction. As we will be using external switches, we will begin with the I.O. mapping for this example. Input rack 3, bit 0, will be connected to a normally closed stop push button. A normally open start push button will be connected to input rack 3, bit 1. The last input being used in our example is a normally open push button connected to input rack 3, bit 2. This push button will be used to energize the rung on which our move instruction is located. The single output being used in this example is connected to output rack 4, bit 0. We will use one of the timer status bits to energize this output for the duration of the timer timing cycle. Now that we've defined the I.O. for our example application, we will construct a simple ladder program to illustrate the use of the MOV instruction. The first rung in the program is a standard seal-in rung used with the momentary contact start and stop push buttons. The normally closed stop push button provides a field closure, and when the normally open start push button is pressed, the B30-0 holding contact closes. The closing of the seal-in contact on rung 2 will start the 2 second time period that's been preset on timer T41. Once the T41 timer starts, its TT or timer timing bit will be used to energize output rack 4 bit 0. This output will be energized for the two seconds that we have set as a preset value on T41. The last rung in this example application uses a normally open push button connected to input rack 3 bit 2 to provide continuity for the rung on which our MOV instruction resides. When this push button is pressed, the source value of 50 will be moved to the destination location, which is specified as the preset field for timer T41. At the same time, a normally closed contact associated with the input rack 3 bit 2 push button will reset the T41 timer so that the timer is cleared and ready for a new preset value. The following steps will illustrate how the MOV instruction works and we will observe the program during execution. To begin, the start button is pushed and the 2 second T41 timer energizes the single output in our application. After the 2 second time duration set on the T41 timer is done, we will use the push button associated with input rack 3 bit 2 to load a new time value of 5 seconds into the T41 timer. This action will also reset the timer and when the push button is released, output 4, bit 0, will be energized for the new time period of 5 seconds. We will now load and run the program and follow the steps that we've outlined and you can observe the MOV instruction in action.